Mental health stigma is a global issue, fueled by cultural beliefs, lack of education, and insufficient resources for those in need. But mental health is just as important as physical health, and the Belize National Mental Health Program is on a mission to change the narrative. In the past, patients with different needs were all sent to the Rockview Hospital, but now there is a push for a more tailored and compassionate care. Uh, persons who had problems with the law were referred there as well. Um, if patients were in an acute crisis, they were also referred there. So it was like having everybody with a mental um, disorder being sent to Rockview Hospital. Now, 15 years later, Belize has moved away from placing patients in institutions. They are now referred to the Palm View Center in Belmapan. This residential care facility offers a home for patients without family support, allowing them to live together, build a community, and regain their independence. Yvette Quintanilla, mental health coordinator, explains that the country is making strides to ensure mental health resources are both accessible and welcoming for those in need. We have moved now to a more of a community and type uh, based of service that we offer. We have mental health clinics in all the districts with psychiatric nurse practitioners providing the services along with um, psychiatrists. Um, we get the support from uh, Cuba. And in Belize City, we also have our um, main psychiatrist, Dr. Matos, who works there as well. We have um, a few psychotherapists that also provide counseling services and a social worker that also provides support when it comes to the family. Reaching out for help can be intimidating. This is due in part to the stigma that surrounds it. However, it is a step in the right direction. Psychiatric nurse practitioner Amy Link explains how they assist someone experiencing symptoms of anxiety. Reaching out to get psychiatric assistance is very nerve-wracking. Um, we do try and promote that, you know, the information that you provide here will be secure and will be safe. And at any moment, if you're not ready to speak of anything in your life, it is on your pace. So the anxious feeling now when it comes to the symptoms, we do not just jump to a diagnosis or jump to prescribing medication because often we have to see what are the triggers in your life that can be altered or sometimes those feelings are signs that our body is communicating, communicating with us about there's something that needs to be addressed. September 10th is usually a day of celebration in Belize, but it is also a time to raise awareness for World Suicide Prevention Day. This year, the activities included a glow run and a candlelight vigil where people shared their personal stories of struggling with mental health, and how they overcame those challenges. October 10th is recognized as World Mental Health Day. Link explains how this year's events reinforce the message that mental health and physical health are deeply connected. The team for World Mental Health Day was to prioritize mental health in the workplace. So our activities were really focusing in, on those within the work field and for Western Regional, we provided, uh, and also the community, we had yoga classes done by Frida, we had Zumba classes done by Miss McKean, and we had massage day done with the organic spa, and uh, even meditation done by Johan. So these individuals did all this for our workers and individuals in the community free of cost and it promoted the basic means of which we can make those changes in our life within our control to bring mental health into our life improved. As part of the celebrations, the mental health department curated a serene space dedicated to meditation and relaxation. The room served as a respite for staff to unwind and rejuvenate, offering a tranquil escape designed to alleviate stress and promote well-being. It all starts with each individual person recognizing that all of us have um, mental, mental health and um, we need to work on ourselves first before we can provide that support 
within our businesses, within our other ministries, in order for us to promote um, mental well-being in um, with our staff. Because we know that um, when, when we are not mentally healthy, it leads to um, burnout, it leads to absenteeism at work. Changing the narrative on mental health in Belize is a long journey, but there's a movement underway. And it's a movement that grows stronger with each passing year. One of my biggest wishes is that um, the we can reach more people, the, that people can be more cognizant of their mental health, um, that we can decrease the stigma and discrimination, and people become aware that they do not need to suffer in silence, that there is help, and it's just a matter of them reaching out to us and for that help to be provided. Brittany Gordon for News 5.